Chapter 1 How to Raise a Labrador Puppy The Importance of Understanding Researching the Labrador Breed Preparation is key. Preparing for your Labrador puppy's arrival. Scheduling Using scheduling when raising your Labrador puppy. The Importance of Understanding Researching the Labrador Breed Since you are reading this book, the chances are that you have already committed yourself to learn more about the Labrador Breed. Whether you have already brought home your new puppy or adult dog, or whether you are still considering your new addition, research is crucial to the success of your family expansion. The first thing you should focus your research on is whether or not you are able to provide for a Labrador Retriever. Like any dog, the Labrador has general needs. Food, shelter, veterinary care, etc. But there are also needs specific to the Labrador breed and breeds within the sporting dog category that you should consider as well. Let's take a look at some of these needs. General Needs A dog requires attention from his family. A dog requires time from her family. A dog requires high-quality dog food. A dog requires adequate shelter, preferably indoors, with his family. A dog requires socialization with people, children, strangers, dogs, and other animals. A dog requires training to understand what is required of her. A dog requires regular veterinary care. A dog requires regular preventative medications. A dog requires toys and play for stimulation. A dog requires regular exercise. Specific Needs A Labrador puppy requires a lot of supervision since they tend to be aggressive chewers. A Labrador requires plenty of exposure to people to thrive. A Labrador requires plenty of exercise. They need at least two daily walks and twice weekly play sessions. A Labrador requires attention. They are not solitary dogs. A Labrador does shed regularly and requires once weekly brushing. A Labrador requires good quality joint support from a young age. A Labrador must be trained and trained well since they can be exuberant and energetic as well as quite large dogs. A Labrador requires a dedicated owner since they are exceptionally intelligent and thrive on mental and physical stimulation. Another consideration that you need to discuss with your family is whether or not they understand what bringing home a Labrador Retriever means. There are many pluses that come with Labrador ownership, but the potential minuses should also be considered. Pluses of Bringing Home a Labrador A Labrador is a very friendly breed and is happy to provide constant companionship. A Labrador is a loyal breed, willing to stand by his family on constant watch. A Labrador is easily trainable and eager to please. A Labrador is a cuddling breed and is happy to snuggle up with her owner. A Labrador is an exceptionally intelligent breed that can be trained for a variety of service and specialty jobs. A Labrador is a gentle breed that bonds quickly with family. A Labrador's puppyhood lasts for a minimum of two years. They are a slow-to-age large breed. A Labrador is always up for play. Minuses of bringing home a Labrador 
A Labrador can appear clingy and is not the best choice for anyone looking for a strongly independent breed. Shedding Dog hair tumbleweeds will be common in your household. A Labrador is not a guard dog. They are far too people-oriented to make good protection dogs. This does not mean that they won't protect their family, rather that they are not built for the purpose of guardianship. A Labrador puppy is challenging and will get into mischief without constant supervision. But what puppy won't? If they can eat it, they will. So your house should be puppy-proofed. A Labrador is exceptionally food-oriented, and even a well-trained Labrador can be tempted by unattended food. A large dog with a large tail, the Labrador can be clumsy and unaware of their size. Last, while finances seem to be the last consideration of a family seeking a new dog, they should always be considered. Bringing home any new dog is expensive, not only because of new puppy shots and supplies, but also because a new Labrador is a commitment to an average of 15 years. During those 15 years, your Labrador will require annual health checks, monthly preventatives, boarding stays, emergency vet visits, illness vet visits, good quality nutrition, and medications. Of course, all dogs have these requirements, but owning a Labrador sometimes increases the cost of these things due to a couple of factors. As a rule of thumb, services for a larger dog, like a Labrador Retriever, are going to cost more than they would for a smaller dog. Boarding takes up more room. Anesthesia requires more medication. Medicines require higher doses, etc. And all of this means higher expenses. The prevalence of illness in a breed of dog also factors in to the lifelong cost of health care. The Labrador Retriever is a generally healthy dog, but can be prone to hip dysplasia, intestinal obstruction due to consumption of foreign objects, heart disease, ear infections, and cancer. These things can be limited by researching a breeder thoroughly before purchasing a puppy, remaining ever vigilant over what your dog eats and what they are left alone with, purchasing insurance for your Labrador, and staying on top of regular veterinary checkups. Now, don't let these last few paragraphs deter you from bringing home a Labrador because every breed of dog is going to have health concerns. What this information should do, however, is encourage you to properly research a breeder to get the healthiest puppy possible or be aware of a specific dog's health status before bringing them home. Know the medical financial commitment that you are getting into before you get into it whenever possible, and make sure that you are prepared. Preparation is key. Preparing for your Labrador puppy's arrival. Speaking of preparation, preparation is key when it comes to bringing your new Labrador home. The more prepared you are for your new addition's arrival, the smoother the transition is going to be for all of you. Buy what you need ahead of time. Purchase what you will need for your puppy's first weeks at home before you bring your puppy home. This will reduce the amount of time that you have to leave your new pup at home alone. What should you buy? Food. Find out what food your breeder or shelter is feeding and buy the exact same food. Changing foods will cause stomach upset in your new dog when they are already stressed by change. Bedding. Purchase a bed for your new pup. 
Most people purchase a simple mat to go inside a crate. This is the best option. Crate. Crate training is the best and easiest training method for a new puppy. It provides your dog with a safe place to go when they need time alone, and it prevents accidents from happening when you are sleeping. Never use a crate as punishment, however. Toys. Your new puppy will sleep most of the time, but a few toys to chew on will help to distract them from chewing your shoes when they are awake. Collar and leash. A simple nylon collar and leash are all you need. You may or may not want to invest in a harness. This is advisable since Labradors do have very thick necks and can pull when walking. Do not use a choke chain or pinch collar on a puppy. Bowls, stainless steel bowls are cleanest and most sanitary. Grooming supplies, a bristle brush, ear wipes. And toothbrush are all great items to begin using early to get your Labrador used to being handled. Puppy proofing, just as you would for a new baby, you are going to need to go through your house and puppy proof. Any new puppy will require that you puppy proof your home, but Labrador Retriever puppies can be particularly mischievous. Combine this mischievousness with their level of intelligence, and a Labrador puppy can be your worst nightmare if you do not prepare by puppy proofing. What should you do to puppy proof? Use baby gates to cordon off any off limits or dangerous areas. Take any harmful chemicals off ground or reachable level, such as bleach bottles or toilet cleansers on your bathroom floor. Put lids down on the toilet. Labradors are attracted to water. This can be particularly dangerous when you use toilet cleaners that can be consumed by a thirsty Labrador puppy. As much as you can, lift wires and electrical cords out of the way. Labradors will chew on anything and everything. Use your crate. When you can't keep an eye on your puppy, give them time in their crate to nap, or even keep them on a leash by your side. An unsupervised puppy will get into trouble, particularly when that puppy is a Labrador. Keep countertops clear. Your puppy will grow quickly, and soon they will be able to stand and reach your countertops. So it is best to get into the habit of clearing countertops early. As notorious food lovers, Labradors have a tendency to counter surf and eat whatever they find. Close doors. Get into the habit of closing doors to rooms that are not in use. This will limit the amount of trouble your puppy can get into around the house. Find your resources. Before you bring your new puppy home, make sure that you have all of your resources set up. You will need to find a local veterinarian whom you trust and who comes recommended. You can do this by asking friends or by researching online. You will also want to find an obedience school that will work for you, so that when your puppy is old enough, you have a school in mind to begin training. Last, you will also want to ensure that you know who your local emergency vet is, and keep their name and number handy at all times. Emergencies don't always happen, but when they do happen with puppies, time is always a factor. Take time off work. If you are bringing home a new puppy, you will want to take at least a week off work. Or, at very minimum, make sure that someone can be with your puppy while you are at work. 
a new puppy is going to not only need to take potty breaks every couple of hours, but they will also be confused about the new changes taking place. Being such sociable dogs, these changes can be particularly difficult for Labrador retrievers. Once your new puppy settles in and has a better understanding of your schedule, the new changes in their life will be less confusing for them. Scheduling Using scheduling when raising your Labrador puppy Speaking of schedules, scheduling is going to play a huge part in the success of raising your Labrador puppy. All dogs rely on schedules. They are creatures of habit. Dogs who have regular schedules are not only happier, but their owners know better what to expect of them. The significance of scheduling is particularly important when you bring your Labrador Retriever puppy home. Feed your puppy at a given time and you will soon learn when your puppy needs to be let out for the bathroom. Schedule potty breaks every hour and your puppy will soon learn that potty time is always outside. Give your dog water at a given time and you will know when they need to go out and limit the amount of indoor accidents. All of this scheduling may seem tiring, but the sooner you start your new puppy on a schedule, the faster they are going to learn what is expected of them, because they can expect specific events at specific times. Of course, as your puppy ages, you can make slight alterations to this schedule. But the aim of the game right now is to get your puppy to understand how things work in your home and what is expected of them.